commodities, but I need to tell you that the blood and the cross is still all we need to be preaching. It's all we need to be telling a dying world that the blood and the cross still go hand in hand. In other words, you cannot have one without the other. And the good news is because, brothers and sisters, not only do you have the same benefits that the children of Israel had, whereas the blood covers you on the outside, but you also got the stamp of the cross on the inside of you. In other words, everywhere you go, you ought to be able to tell people that you belong to the Lord. And so as I close tonight, can I tell you what ended up happening after the death of the firstborn? Well, right after uh, that, Pharaoh summons Moses and commands him to lead Israel out of Egypt. Look at what God would do when you obey God's commands. And you ought to tell somebody there is still power in the blood. There's so much power in the blood of my brothers and my sisters that when you should have died, you didn't die. That when you should have lost your mind, you didn't lose your mind. That when you should have lost all hope, you still have your hope. Tell somebody that it is the blood. I can't properly close without stopping by the prophecy fulfilled. So I gotta go by Calvary. I've gotten, or I've given you around the hub. All of these Christological parallels. But now I gotta tell you exactly what Jesus did on our behalf. I need to tell you that he hung, that he bled, and that he died. So that you and I could have a right to the tree of life. Every beat and every whip that Jesus endured was for you and for me. Every nail in his hands. Yeah. Oh, 